Good morning, St. Thomas. Um, this is my third take. I heard a car alarm going off outside. Anyway, hopefully it doesn't come back. Good morning. Um, my name is Richard Linton. I've uh, been at St. Thomas's for 20 years. For those of you who don't know me, I'm the one who uh, reads to you occasionally. And um, this kind of reminds me of, of the time I, they, I was, we were sent off to war Gulf War One. It wasn't supposed to happen. I joined the British Army and I was just supposed to go and serve in Germany, do a couple of exercises with, with the Russians, um, you know, East to West relations. And then suddenly Gulf War One broke out and we were going to the Gulf War to fight in a, in, you know, in a, in a war that we didn't really want to get involved with and no one knew what was happening. Kind of feels like that to me right now. But I also figure I, as, I, as I spent two weeks two or three weeks in my tank way back then, I can definitely spend a couple of months, and I think it's gonna be a couple of months, uh, at my, in my beautiful home uh, with my family without too much difficulty. Um, and I was thinking this morning, it's, it's, it's not so much we're suffering in our homes, um, it's just so different, isn't it? That's, that's the thing that's just so hard. It's just so different from anything that we've ever done. And, you know, young or old, rich or poor, it's but it's all the same that's that's the good news right we're we're you know everyone's in the same boat that said i thought i'd share with you a little bit about my other one of my passions which is um uh, apart from acting which you probably know and uh, which is meditation and i've always been church of england episcopalian since i came to america in 2000 but i've also loved to meditate and how that came about was about nearly 20 years ago now um and I had been reading books, different techniques, and I finally decided to, to go to the old Deepak Chopra Center down in La Jolla in California. And it's kind of expensive, like I could only afford to go there one day. I mean, you had to pay to go there. It was like a, a spa retreat, meditation type thing. But anyway, I missed the turn. And so I was driving down the road and I saw this notebook in the middle of the road. And I thought, oh, that's kind of interesting. Maybe that's a sign. So I pulled over, picked up the notebook. It was covered in brown paper even. It was like an interesting little notebook. It wasn't just a notebook. And I opened the pages and the first few pages were, had little drawings of diamond rings, engagement rings. So it was someone's research for their, um, their engagement ring, which is kind of, which is kind of neat, but I was already married, so I thought, well, that's not really relevant. There must be another reason um, why I've stopped here. And I looked to my right, and there was this big white wall and some palm trees going up and a big golden dome. And I'm on, I'm on the, the coast right now, down in Encinitas. So I thought, well, this is, maybe I should check out this place. What is this place? And so I went in, I drew around to the gate, and I went in this little... Um, compound and I it was like this little shang Shangri-La it was the the self-realization medita meditation park basically and little plants beautiful little plants tropical plants koi fish in the, in the ponds and then this incredible view over the ocean um, and and then I walked down some steps and there was this little cloister and a beautiful old door, which looked like it'd been there for you know centuries, big thick old door, very much closed. And in front of the door, there was a sign which said, uh, silence, retreatants only. And I thought in a split second, I thought, I wanna, I wanna go in there. <laughs> I wanna go and see what that's all about. What are those people doing? And I found out that, you know, you could, I asked in the office there, and I found out that you could go there for a silent retreat. And I never really, I, I had friends that had done retreats, but not silent so much, pure silent retreats. Anyway, I vowed to go back one day. And came back to Philadelphia. And I, I still going to St. Thomas's, still, still being a parishioner. But I, I um, on the side, as it were, um, I found out that there was a local chapter of this meditation organization and they met in Glenside above a, a, a motorcycle store right next to the train station. 
And I thought, oh, this looks a bit dodgy, you know. So I, I did, I went, and there was, the trains were literally outside the window. It was like right next to the train station as well in Glenside. And on a Sunday, you would go and you would do this sort of meditation, in a Christian, Christian-based uh, meditation. And, and then even, but even there was like this motorcycle store downstairs, and it, these motorcycles on a Sunday, the guy would be fixing them, so they'd be revving rum, 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 during the meditation. I'm like, oh my God, this is crazy. Um, but long story short, I stuck with it. And it was, you know, I started to learn a meditation technique. And the sort of coal, the diamond in the coal, in the, in the, in the piece of coal was that I, I went back to, after about a year or so, I went back to Encinitas, to the organization, and I went for a silent retreat for three days. And I went back to the little garden and back to the beautiful... Uh, view overlooking the ocean and then I went in to in that door in that big old oak door where it said science that the, the same notice was still there little notice on a stand on a metal stand that says silence retreatants only and I went in and I did my three-day meditation w with the monks and it was just incredible it's just wonderful and so and I've been back over the last 15 20 years two or three times for two or three days um, so, I mean, honestly, if I'm honest, I feel like I'm actually prepared for this moment. Like, I, I'm, I'm fine with staying at home, meditating, and just chilling. Um, and the meditation is really helping. And prayer, of course. Of course, prayer, is t prayer too. But as many of you know me, you know, meditation's always been one of my big things. But, you know, if you, if you want to try something new apart from daily prayer, very welcome to join us. Just reach out through Emily. Um, we are doing like a virtual meditation. Um, it can be religious, spiritual, non-spiritual. It would start at Germantown Academy uh, for friends, for parents, for... I've done it for the children as well, second, third, fifth graders. Um, but anyway, that's what I'm doing every morning, 9.30 a.m. to get through this craziness. Um, and hope to see you all again soon.